In today's demonstration, we're going to be looking at how we can manage client support requests inside a dedicated help desk module within Bittrex 24. And the benefits of using this help desk module is it is fully customizable. So when we are progressing support requests, these can be progressed through your very own customized stages. We can also use automation rules to automatically communicate with clients and also for setting tasks for your support team. And the really big benefit of using this help desk module is it connects directly with your Bittrex 24 CRM system. So your contacts and your companies who are associated with the support requests, we will be able to see that information directly in the Bittrex 24 CRM system. So let's take a look at the help desk system in more detail. Okay, so we've entered our Bittrex 24 system and we can see on the left hand side here, we have a help desk module in the menu. So let's click into that help desk to see our current support requests that are being managed. So inside the help desk module here, we can see all of the support requests that are currently being managed. And you can see here, we've got different stages that we are progressing those support requests through. So we have ticket submitted, support agent allocated, and then support in progress. So the stages that you would want to progress your support requests through are fully customizable. So you can have as many or as few stages in here as you require. The names of those stages, the, the colors of the stages as well, are completely customizable. And at the top here, we also have a filtering system. So we might want to filter maybe based on the stage of a ticket or who's responsible for those different support requests. So you have a multi field filtering tool here that we can use to filter down into any support requests. We also have a slightly different way of viewing those requests. So we also have a list view. So a slightly different view here compared to that Kanban display that we have just been looking at. Okay, so in here we can then see all of those support tickets. Now, along with the stages that we progress the support request through, we can also set up automation rules to streamline the communication with our clients who have submitted requests and also automate actions for our support team to complete. So for example, inside our ticket submitted stage, once that ticket has been submitted, we're going to be sending out an email to the client, thanking them and notifying them that we have now received their support request. And through different stages as well, for example, here we've got a task for the responsible support agent that needs to be completed by a specific deadline. So we can make sure the support requests are being completed in a timely manner to keep our customers happy. So we can set up lots of different types of actions for our employees and also communications with our clients through email. Or if you have integrated an SMS provider, we can also send out SMS messages through this system here automatically. Another feature we have as well is triggers. So what we could also do is automatically update the stage of the support request if a certain trigger is actioned. So it could be, for example, if we've sent out an email with a link in the initial stage, if that link is clicked by the, the clients, we could then automatically update them to a certain stage. For example, it could be support in progress. So let's now have a look at uh, a full example of submitting a support request and how that could be managed in our help desk module. So the way we can action a new support request from the client is by using a web form. 
So this web form we create in Bitrix24. It can be embedded onto your website, so it could be on a, a very specific page, such as a support page. And from there, we can then automatically have that support ticket created in the system. So here is a, a form, for example, a very simple form for submitting a new support request. So we've got some information about the customer. We've got a, a title for the actual support ticket here. And I'm just going to now complete this form. So we've got support type. So what category we're going to be adding for the support ticket. And I'm going to also add some additional information for the support team so they get all of this detail in the initial request. OK, so we're going to add some more information in there. So we've added all of that information and with the information that is added into this form, you can ask for specific details so we can make the fields mandatory and you can add as many fields into here as you require. So we're going to submit that form now. OK, so that's now been submitted. And once that form has been submitted, we might have that sent to a specific person within our team. So if we go back into our help desk module, we can see now that ticket has been generated into our help desk module. So all of that information from the form has been submitted and I can click into this form and see a breakdown of all of that information. OK, so it's brought through the, the contacts information, the support type, that extra information. And on the right hand side, we can now see a, a log of all of the history of that support ticket. So we can see inside here, for example, we have automatically sent out an email to the client. So we can see here that has automatically been sent out through our automation rules. And now we need to allocate this support request to uh, an appropriate support agent. So it's automatically created a task that we need to complete. So now I'm going to select the responsible person. So I'm going to select here a new person who is now responsible. So Max Smith is now responsible and we're going to complete that task and move this to the support agent has now been allocated to the ticket. OK, so we are Max Smith in the actual system here, so we can now start working on this particular support request. So we might add some notes into here. You can attach documents if you need to add information from the particular ticket that we have in here. And let's now go to the support is in progress. We need to now complete our investigation. So what we may do in here, for example, is maybe record the time that is spent working on this particular investigation. So that's being completed as we go through the support request right now. And then once that request is being completed, for example, we might go to support is now completed, but we can also put rules in place. So, for example, here, before we can say this ticket has been completed, we need to notify what actions have been taken to resolve that support request. OK, so we're going to save that information inside the ticket. And we can see now that's now automatically updated the ticket to completed and it's sent out a brand new outgoing email automatically informing the customer that the support ticket has been completed. So that's how we can manage the whole support request inside the ticket in the help desk module. And if we just go into the CRM system, 
and we go into our contacts, we can see how these tickets are automatically associated back to our entities inside the CRM system. So if we go into one of our customers, we can see inside here, we have that help desk feature, and we can then see all of the help desk tickets that are associated to this client. So I can click into any of those tickets and it will take me into that specific ticket. So you have full transparency and an overview of all of those requests associated to all of your customers inside the CRM system. So that's what you can do by creating a brand new help desk module. You can connect that to the CRM system so you get a full overview of all support requests. We can use automation rules to automatically communicate with the customer and also set actions inside the Bittrex 24 system for our support team. So it can really help you to streamline and resolve support requests very quickly for your customers. If you are interested in having a help desk module set up using the, the framework of the smart process automation tool, please do contact sales at interface.com and we'll be happy to discuss this with you. Thank you for your time.